Hello everybody, welcome back to Flashing Lights once again. You guys have been asking me to do a video on this to check out the new update and we are going to do that. I'm on the Unstable branch. I'm going to click on Select Vehicle. Uh, this is now available to us with the police vehicles. We can select what vehicle we want uh, and then we have the ability to go to Appearance now. We can change out our liveries on the fly. So if you know how to edit the game uh, or to mod it and you put your own liveries in here, you can select them, which is really cool um, how fast you can do that. Uh, apart from that, I didn't notice any other liveries besides the default ones um, that come with it, but uh, it's a faster way to, uh, you know, change between having an unmarked or a marked vehicle. We're going to do the Explorer here, and uh, we're going to hit Appearance on it. Um, I've already started to work on this thing. Uh, we're going to basically make a Christmas tree out of this thing uh, with no light bar. I just want to show you what you can do. We can turn lights on and off here so we can see the lights in action. Go to the Edit Lights option. And now you see all these little diamonds. We can edit all of these. So if I want a side marker light here, I can click it. And then uh, once you select it, you hit the red X in your back on that side. We only have one HG2 runner on the right, but we can put one on the left as well. Just like that. You can legitimately customize this however you want, um, which is really cool. I like the fact that you can do this, um, you know, in real time. In GTA, you would have to use the extra menu or something like that. Uh, in order for it to do that. Now you can um, remove light bars too. Keep that in mind. Um, we're going to add some doubles there and we're going to put some on that side. So we're really going to make this thing into a Christmas tree. Look at the options you have when it comes to the lighting setup. Um, so it's really cool. We've been following this game's development for a very long time and uh, seeing this is a step in the right direction of what a lot of people want out of this particular game. Now, if we come up here to the light bar, you can, you'll notice we have options of having just a standard LED bar. Uh, you can have some old style rotators um, and you can have, you know, a smaller light bar there. An really old one if you want that Michigan style uh, state patrol. Then you have the, the doubles there. Um, and then if you scroll to the right, look at all these different options you have. You like smoke glass versions of each one, separate ones. So you can make like an FBI or a detective vehicle if you'd like, even amber lights. Look at that. So you can, uh, you, you have a lot of options here when it, even a blue light um, if you want to, which is really, really cool. We're not gonna have a light bar. On, well, here, let's go this way because we already showed you just one LED bar. So if you keep going to the left, now we can change out different light bars, which is really neat that you can just do this uh, before you start a patrol. And look at this, you got like an old style uh, rotator with some flashing back and forth white lights in the middle there. That's very interesting. A vision style bar, like an SLR. Um, actually, I think this is the SLR here. Uh, you can see like the, the more updated versions. Um, and you have a lot of different light bar options, which is really cool. You have like, you know, Wayland style. Um, you have old like Street Hawk. I'm probably not getting all these right, but uh, you get the idea. And you can see how it reflects the lights as well. An old uh, older one there with some LEDs in it. Um, these are all based off our real light bars that we have uh, seen before in the past. So I'm just going to hit no on that. Or actually, we're going to go up there uh, and hit uh, hit no. Put a side marker light on that guy right there. I think we have most of these taken care of. I think I have lights on every bit of this particular vehicle that I can. And I've noticed that most of the vehicles have the same options. So it's not just, uh, you know, privy to just this Explorer. It's the other ones as well. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. We're gonna just remove this uh, rear light bar. Don't need it. Um, actually, nope, you gotta hit the little no smoking sign. There we go. Um, and we're gonna have a unmarked uh, Christmas tree style. Hit save and exit. As simple as that, the vehicle is ready for us to come out here to it. And you can see it has all of the lighting options that we selected. And uh, by hopping into the car itself, we'll be able to turn on the lights to see what it's all about. There they are right there. Check that out. That is pretty darn slick. And uh, yes, that is definitely a Christmas tree style police vehicle. We can all agree with that. We'll fire the engine up and we'll hit F3 and we'll go out on patrol. Let's see what we can get into. All right, we are in response to a person with a gun call. That's gonna be down here on the left-hand side. Let's see what we got here. Go ahead and kill the, uh, the siren. And uh, we don't know where they're located other than around the corner possibly here. And I don't see anybody yet, but uh, we'll... Oh, I see them right here. Is that him? That might be him. Uh, we're going to be on scene. Let's make sure that we can uh, 
Oh, don't hit me. Thank you very much. Get our weapon out. Okay, he's shooting. He's shooting people like an idiot. No, 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 you don't. 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 Oh, man, I have to get used to that again. Wow. That aiming was terrible, Jeff. Come on now. Uh, subject down. Of course. He was just firing at uh, the random people here in this area and myself. So that wasn't cool, dude. Uh, yeah, don't need our <laughs> flashlight for that. Um, we're going to go ahead and request transport for it. Uh, so an ambulance being route to take him away. But, uh, wow. Okay. Off to a great start. Sir, wear a mask. All right. Ambulance is on scene. They're coming over here to get uh, working on him. And we're going to be pretty much code four here and done. So we'll let that happen. Wonderful. All right. Well, happy Tuesday to everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. How y'all doing? You staying uh, safe, staying indoors, doing your thing? Or are you out there acting like nothing's even going on in the world? I've started to relax myself uh, and uh, get out a little bit uh, more often. However, uh, I don't go anywhere without a mask or, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and select our seat. We turn our lights off. I love this Christmas tree. This thing looks badass. And uh, we're going to go ahead and be back 10-8. I don't know what this lady's doing, just standing in the road. Trying to catch up to this van. They're doing well in excess of 100 miles an hour. I don't know what they think they're doing. Let's try to get this guy to pull over here. My lord, man. He is all over the road. And we're getting, like, huge frame drops. I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's very strange. But we're going to be out with him. Yeah. Oh, in excess of 100 miles an hour. Isn't that crazy? All right, dude. What are you doing? Like, you are legitimately flying down the road at 100 miles an hour. Horace Hunt is his name. Uh, we have nothing else further on that. Okay, wonderful. Um, all right, just uh, sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. All right, we got Horace Hunt here. Let's go ahead and run him, see if there's anything going on with it. Uh, we got an expired driver's license. That's not good. Four traffic violations, nine parking tickets. He's had one arrest in the past, but he has no current uh, warrant. By the way, you can uh, use your mouse wheel to blow up the little MDT, which is cool. You can make it small and big. I do like that, uh, especially when we're out here like this. We're going to run his uh, license plate next. 87N. Let's see if anything comes back on the van. Uh, active registration, valid insurance. So he just doesn't have a, a current driver's license. It's not suspended, so we'll go with that. All right, Mr. Hunt, here's your information back. Uh, let's go ahead and go down... Uh, this whole thing with the verdict. Uh, so you are getting a, a ticket today. Uh, you were speeding, number one, but you're driving on an expired license. Now, uh, with your priors, you could go to jail. However, we're going to work with you today and knock that down from not 100 to like 80 or something. So he's getting a traffic ticket for it. Violation is going to be for speeding. Uh, details, well, no speed reading for this vehicle. Yeah, we were pacing him well in excess of 100. Okay, well, he's going to get the driving license instead because they would not let us do that for whatever reason. It's expired. Location, uh, Mr. Horse Hunt again. Um, but I don't know why they won't let you pace them. That's, that's something that uh, needs to be addressed where you can write what you want in there, in my opinion. Um, but there you go. Hit done on that. So he gets that. Uh, and he's going to be free to go. So keep it slowed down, man. Get your driver's license taken care of. That's all we want you to do. Stop being an idiot. That would be a first. And uh, we're all done here. One thing I would really like to see is the ability to cancel a current call out that you're on. Uh, they don't let you do that as it is uh, right now. And uh, you can easily accidentally take it because you're, you know, turning your lights on through an intersection or something. Uh, and that will accept a call out for you. So we definitely, definitely need an ability to cancel that if we don't want it. All right, register the suspect. Hopefully we don't get shot at here. We're good to go. Wonderful. Everybody's uh, fantastic there. Yay. We didn't end up getting shot out here. Intoxicated get a person uh, seeing the area. Okay. And they're going to pass those details to us. We'll see where they're located at. Uh, might be behind us, actually. Yep, it is. Turn our lights on through the intersection here, and we're just going to kind of code to it that way until we get on scene. Checking out the interior view. You can see we got those working dials now on the dash. Very cool. And uh, it, it seems like it's different. It doesn't seem like it's a uh, actual, you know, just a, the same interior uh, like we saw on other vehicles. So slowly but surely, we're getting some new things uh, trickling into this game. And 
one of the biggest things I would like to see changed uh, has got to be, uh, yeah, she drunk as a skunk. Look at this. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, she's just skating around too. That's even better. Awesome. Um, is the sounds. Uh, you know, I want some better gun sounds. I want some better. Oh, she's got a gun. Oh my God. Get your gun out. Get your gun out. Dead. Unbelievable. Well, we can go ahead and call for medical assistance. Officer down. Drunky skunky just shot us. I couldn't get to my gun in time. Was not expecting that. Um, but going back to what we were talking about, I would like to see, you know, better sounds because those gun sounds are absolutely abysmal. Um, the siren is not good. Uh, and I know that some people have said that, you know, you can mod the game and you need to mod the game. It's not an easy process to do that. It's, it's, it's not very intuitive. Um, unless somebody wants to explain it better in detail to me. Currently, you have to like decompile the game and, and change things and then recompile it. Uh, so I don't really enjoy that. But uh, this person is going to help us out. Thank you very much for that. We're going to go get drunky because she uh, is a obvious threat to society as of right now. Get your gun out. Not that one. I want your other gun, man. We're going to shoot this one or she get away scot-free. No, she's up here. She's up here. Hey, 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 you. You, you, you. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Yeah, keep your hands in the air where I can see them. I know you had a gun on you. Stay right there. Yeah, you are under arrest. Um, well, now we're Officer 128, and she's under arrest for being an idiot, uh, as per usual. And we're going to go ahead and see what's going on here. What's your name? Christina Floyd. Uh, okay. Not worried about it. Uh, hit back on you, and then we'll go ahead and we'll frisk her down, see if she has anything legal on her. We already know she had that gun, so ID card. So they, they didn't even have that anymore. Okay, well, good to know. Alcohol test. I bet bet you she's pretty uh, three sheets to the wind here. Let's see. Uh, 0.187, so yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab her and take her back to the car. Okay, let's put you in the back of here. That would be ideal. And we'll take you to the station. Uh, lucky for us, you're wearing a vest. Uh, or we were Officer 128 at the time. Uh, no, don't want to go to the courthouse. Don't want to mess around with that. I'm going to go down here and turn around and take her to the PD. All right, made it back here. Let's go ahead and take her straight to jail. Come here, you. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, actions. Nope, actions, please. All right, come on out of there and grab you. Bring you to the station. No messing around. There we go. Come on. To jail you go today. Uh, Christina Floyd and there we go all done sweet um yeah so the biggest uh, thing is the new lighting options and seeing where that is going with the game we already know we're gonna get that with other vehicles it's police at first but uh, you know I'm sure we're gonna see that with uh, EMS and all sorts of stuff and um, that will be awesome but I wanted to play the game a little bit see if anything uh, new that we haven't seen um, we've seen a lot of these before so we're not really worried about those call-outs. We'll wait and see if we get something different. A suspicious activity call. We're going to go ahead and uh, accept that and see. Uh, they'll send the details to us. We're going to flip around. Yep, do a U-turn right here. And we'll go check out the suspicious activity uh, that's being reported to us right now. 127, you can show us on scene. We're looking uh, in the area now for anybody that might be uh, matching that description. It might be on here on the left side in that alleyway so we're gonna go down here we'll do a u-turn and then we'll get out and check it out all right we're gonna be out here we're gonna check out this particular spot and uh, i'm not messing around now we've already been shot once we're just gonna go ahead and get our gun out and be ready for it all right we got a guy just hanging out back here he looks like he's stumbling a little bit he might be uh drunk we don't know any further uh, information other than that. So we're going to go ahead and make contact with him. Oh, he's got a gun. Hey, sir, put the gun down. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. All you do is shoot us. That's all you do is shoot us, isn't it? Okay, well, so much for that. Request transport for that one. Boy, we're just getting shot at today. That's not, uh, it's not normal in this game. So that has been escalated quite a bit. Uh, we have an ambulance in route for him. Uh, they are almost on scene, actually. They're coming around the corner now. I'll wave them down. Hey, it's over here. I see you back there. It's over here. Yep, come down this way. Whoa, golly. 
smashed right into the van. You gotta be kidding me, man. Can you make it back here? Or, you, or no? Oh, it looks like they're going to. Oh, all right. There you go. Vehicle parked without permit. Not worried about that uh, in the slightest bit. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the new update uh, to the game. Uh, we're only going to be covering this game whenever updates come out. Something substantial like we saw uh, with the ability to, um, you know, customize your lights. Because that's a pretty cool thing um, for people that, uh, you know, have been playing this game for a while and have been following it. Um, that's a step in the right direction. That's pretty darn cool. And uh, I know that, uh, you know, you only have one guy making this game. So it's, it's a long process. That's for certain. Shoplifting. Let's just go ahead and take it as a code one call anyway. Arrive on scene, talk to staff, find shoplift and arrest them. Return stolen goods. Uh, it's going to be back this way, actually. So they want a code one response. That's going to be a minute. And 127, you can show me uh, in the area. It's going to be here at this little building. There's a person outside. This might be the, the shop owner the staff of the store it's a grocery store okay yep you can show us out on scene here we're gonna go talk to that guy see what what's going on here hey what's going on today anything cool we got going on uh the shop looks like this uh here's a shot from cctv okay he's got the uh, green tank top and some dreadlocks uh all right we'll look for him is that him right over there? There he is right there. He's walking down the street. Are you kidding me right now, man? You kidding me right now? Let's go make contact with him. We've got eyes on that subject. I'll turn my lights on. And yep, he's going to get rolled up on real quick here. Yep, right here. Right here. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, you. Come here. Go non lethal for now. You. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Thank you very much for complying. Stay right there. I already can see your hands, man. I'll explain to you what's happening here in just a second. Okay? First things first, you're getting handcuffed. All right. So, we got him in custody. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to move him off the side of the road here because currently we got a van of an idiot trying to hit us. Uh, that's cool. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, release him here. And uh, let's see what we got going on here. You have anything illegal on you? It's going to poke me, stick me, harm me in any way. And, uh, stolen items. There it is. And a weapon. I'm glad you didn't use it on us. My God. This has been a whole thing here today, hasn't it? I had recovered. Return it to the owner. We will do that. Um, first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and hit back there and back here. And uh, we're going to uh, find out who he is. Gregory Larson is his name. All right. We're going to run his information on the, the CAD. And then we'll uh, find out what's going on with uh, Gregory. All right, Gregory Larson is his name. We're going to run the information. You hit autofill details and it'll automatically do it for you. But hey, that's the fun part is uh, running the name. So valid, uh, two, zero, no warrants. Nothing happening there with that. Okay, fantastic. All right, dude, putting you in the back of the police car. There you go. Close that. We'll get into our vehicle. That was an easy takedown. He, he did not stray very far from the crime. Scene, what are you doing? I need to just take you straight to jail for being a moron and just slamming into everybody. I think she went around the corner and just hit us again. That's what it looked like to me. All right, now we can return our stolen items and uh, he'll go to jail for shoplifting. That was not good, man. Don't be doing no shoplifting. Hey, here you are. Actions, return item. There you go, stolen item returned, and into the abyss he goes. Well, we're right around the corner from the police station, so this won't take very long for us to get there and uh, to take him to jail for what he's done today. In fact, we just make a left here and uh, sneak past this. I think we can get out this way. Yeah, we can. Awesome. Without hitting a fence, that's, you know, that's to be said, but. Um, all right, right turn here. Nobody coming. The turn radius of this thing is is kind of like a boat. Just a little bit. Okay. Out we go. We'll grab him out of here. We'll close our door. We're not a, a moron. Okay, you. Come on. Stealing things. Not good, man. And then you had uh, possession of a weapon. Didn't say he was a felon or anything like that, but possession of a weapon. Not cool, dude. Gregory Larson there he goes. He's off to jail. Boom, boom, boom. 
look at those re reputation points and arrests I've got on my profile. My lord. I played this quite a bit. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Flashing Lights. Uh, thank you all for uh, the suggestion to check it out and uh, letting me know there's a new update out. I will see you next time. Take care.